let's take a look at how to give Google Ads account access to somebody. If you say you want to have them review your account or help you manage your ads or even just help with billing and you know accounting type stuff uh, there's several different reasons why you would want to give somebody access to your Google Ads account and it's pretty straightforward first of all we're gonna come into admin on the left hand side here and then from this drop down we'll see access and security if we click on that should see where it says access and security and then we'll have users managers and security here so basically there's two different ways that you can add well I should say there's two different uh, ways of access being shared within a Google Ads account managers you're not really going to be able to do anything in here by default um, this is for like an agency like mine. If we want to request access to a client's account, we use this managers tab here. So if an agency is requesting access to your account, you can, you can approve it in managers, but you won't be able to do anything in managers other than accept and remove access from managers. So basically they have to go into their special account and add you in there and everything. So what you will be able to do is share access through users. The thing to keep in mind though is that users are intended to be people within your own organization, right? So if you're, you know, at bestbuy.com, we'll just use a random example here, um, and you're running the ads for Best Buy, all the users in the account will probably be like Tom at bestbuy.com and Sarah at bestbuy.com and Frank at bestbuy.com and Jill at bestbuy.com. And it's going to be people that have like a domain that matches what the, what it is for the company. If you start sharing manager access or excuse me, if you start giving user access to companies that manage lots of different Google ads accounts, it can actually cause some issues like if they're doing shady stuff with their email and violating a bunch of Google Ads policies and then you add them into your account through here, Google might see that as them trying to use your account to do sh some shady stuff, in which case you might get your account shut down, which is not really something you want to do. So you really only want to add somebody as a user if they're internal and you trust them and you know that they're not like doing a bunch of shady stuff with other Google Ads accounts, right? Uh, and then all you'd need to do is hit this plus button right here, which is going to pop open this page. Then you can add in the person's email. So we'll just do like jill at example.com, right? From there, we can choose whether we want this access to expire at some point. So maybe we just want to give this person access for like, very short period of time like a month let them take a look and see what's going on in the account and then it will automatically remove their access at that point there's a different access levels so we can give them email only which is going to be kind of like a summary of what's going on billing access so this would be for maybe an accountant read only will allow them to see what's happening in the account but not really make any changes standard access is typical for like an employee right they have access to basically everything except for the users if you give somebody admin access then you're basically giving them full control over the account so that's usually going to be for like business partners that type of thing right so like business partners employees read only could also be for like employees or people you just want people you don't want to be able to make adjustments in the ads and then billing is usually going to be like accounting department Email only is not really going to be used all that frequently. So let's say we're adding Jill as an employee for a month. <laughs> I don't know why, why we would do that. Maybe we'll just do a full year. There we go. Then when we go to click send invitation, it's going to say, oh, wait, there's an issue with this domain is not allowed, blah, 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 blah. So what we need to do is grab this domain name that we're going to be adding for this email and then head over to the security column here. And under security, we'll see this allowed domains. If we open that drop down and see it's already showing example.com is one that can be added in here. 
And so we can save other allowed domains in here, which will then allow us to add this as a user. Google's doing this as an extra layer of security. So that way you can have more control. Like basically somebody has to have an email from your company or, you know, that could be like a Gmail. If you really want to add people in with Gmail, you can do that too. Uh, but it's going to give you more control over the security in the account by limiting what URLs can be added in here in terms of their email, right? So kind of a nice feature to just help prevent random people from being able to be added into your account, which could obviously cause some issues. Um, and then once you add them in, you're going to see them here in the users section. Right? And you can remove access at any time. You can see what level of access they have. You can see whether the access expires, the type of account, some different information. But you'll have a whole list of users here, like when they last signed in, a bunch of info on each of these users. And then you can manage the users. You can remove them as needed or um, click edit and actually change their access level and things like that. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to give Google Ads account access to people in your organization or even outside of your organization, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.